Life in, uh, in Virgil then, uh, when we acquired the farm in 1958, uh, we were uh, mixed up in a school with uh, different denominations, but mainly Mennonite. And the uh, families that come to mind was another Reimer family, a Mennonite, uh, just down the, uh, down the road, down line one from us. And uh, with their kids, we had uh, a lot of great uh, fun in the winters and the summers. Uh, they were very good to us. They would uh, provide you know, things that uh, my parents maybe didn't have. And, uh, and by that, I'm, I'm saying uh, food and, uh, and fruit in abundance. They had apple cold storages, and we as kids uh, would be there in the, in the summers and the winters. And uh, they were very kind to us and uh, treated us very well. Uh, neighbors across the street from us, uh, farmers as well, were the Dalbiancos. They were uh, an Italian uh, family, uh, great neighbors, very hardworking, and had accomplished a lot in, uh, in the Virgil area. Uh, friends for many years. Uh, the, the town of Virgil was, uh, was small at the time, and it has certainly grown to say ten times easily the size that I remember when we first moved to Virgil in 1958. Uh, the public school had a few hundred uh, kids from say grades one to eight. Uh, there was a, the uh, soccer and baseball field, uh, had a lot of fun there. The businesses, Niagara Motors was, uh, was established and yet it has grown 10 times in size since then, since the 50s. Uh, the credit union, I remember uh, a small building and it had uh, changed sites, uh, although very close together, uh, the sites changed from a small uh, block building to a new uh, modern facility now it's a fitness spa, I believe, and then the uh, new uh, Virgil Credit Union, which is now the Meridian Credit Union, uh, has been built. So three different sizes of banks in all that time. Uh, there were two small gas stations in town and a couple of uh, corner grocery store uh, operations. but everything on a, on a quite small scale. Uh, the fire hall uh, was quite small and it grew in size and now again in the last couple of years it's gone to a new modern facility. So a lot of changes uh, since the 50s and housing alone is the, seems to be uh, the biggest visible factor in that uh, it has just grown in leaps and bounds on all sides of the old town of Virgil.